but I started off charging people like $5 an hour. Like I was picking somebody up for 10 bucks, recording him for like two hours and then dropping him back off like for $10. What's up, y'all? It's Carter Z. I'm here from Chicago, out here at Miami at Hitmakers Week with BeatStars and Sony. I started producing when uh, one of my best friends started to rap, and I just thought, I saw him go into the studio, I thought I could learn how to do this. Um, so I got FL Studio, I started engineering him, and then I just started engineering a bunch of people around at my high school. And just, I was making beats with that, so it just kept going from there. I've been working with Big Boogie for a long time now. It's been since like 2020, I got my first one with them. On the last album, I had one song before that, and I was just like, man, I gotta I gotta get more on this next one. So I started making beats for him pretty much every single day. I was sending packs out to him. We have so many in the vault. I just spam him with beats, and that one just ended up getting seven on there. Collabing with people is everything. I mean, that's how you build your network. It's like, you can only do so much work by yourself. And when you uh, expand out and work with other people, it really like grows the network a lot. Hey, Carter Z, you going too crazy. Usually I'm either locked in at my studio or just at the crib. I do stuff from scratch or I'll sometimes pull up loops. I cook up a lot of them back to back. I'll usually do like 10 beats average a day, but a lot of it's just, yeah, just like in my room or just at the studio at first where I really started seeing um, money coming in easier was through engineering originally. Even in high school, I started off charging people like $5 an hour. Like I was picking somebody up for 10 bucks, recording him for like two hours and then dropping him back off like for $10. But then like after a long period of time, like the prices started to go up and then that, that started to work out. And then obviously with that comes a lot of beat sales and then like the network from there, like working with smaller artists and have them introduce you to the bigger artists that help you get placements. So it's been, it's been good. I say like engineering has definitely helped the transition though. I was thinking of that, like, oh, this is great experience. You know, I think I was just doing it for fun, but I knew I had to charge. So I was gonna charge something, you know, I wasn't just gonna do it for free. It was definitely just good experience doing that for sure. One, just like being comfortable in the studio. I'm just like familiar with everything in the studio and like being in the studio. Two, it's helped with seeing like what beats artists are doing. So whether it's my beat or not, I see what they're pulling up off YouTube and like what people are wanting to do. And then the third thing for sure is like the arrangement, like seeing how a song comes together and seeing how the beat needs to get arranged for that to happen. I saw a lot of people that I worked with a lot had made the switch or had joined uh, BeatStars. And then also after talking with you about like, you know, the uh, opportunities that BeatStars brings to uh, a lot of people that are on the publishing, something that other um, publishing company I was with didn't help out a lot with. I've actually been successful on BeatStars without even uploading myself is um, through collabing. A lot of people add me as collaborator and I'm not even uploading myself and it's been really beneficial to me just collabing with people and getting added and getting sales through there. I'm running my studio back home in Chicago. I'm getting that to a point where now I can start to travel again. So I'm gonna be uh, moving back to Atlanta, um, really just working on getting a bunch more places, placements, building my connections more. Running the studio has been like a big thing for me over the past few years. So I'm really glad to be able to go back to kind of doing beats more full time. So just putting like a lot more effort into that over the next couple of years for sure working on beats every day and not only that, but just like reaching out to new producers every day, finding new people to work with, that's gonna be like huge in finding success and just being consistent and building your network and also just like working on your craft.